Here we are at Matson Motor Works today. We're going to be tightening tension spring on an enclosed trailer. Here we are. I was going to take the aluminum finished piece off. You'll see me undoing the screws. It didn't work out. They actually then had this caulked both on the bottom seam and on the side, so I left it. Went and got a block of wood and vice grips. You're going to want to tighten the vice grips that you'll see here in just a minute and put a block of wood against that finished aluminum piece. And then I went and got 12 inch ratchet extensions. And you'll see the first time here when I go to loosen them up that there was just too much tension on the spring and it was gonna be able to overcome it. It really had quite a bit of tension on it. So I went ahead and tightened them back up here in a minute and went and got some rebar and you will have to grind the end down a little bit so you'll see it's shiny on one end but it does fit in there almost perfectly and so you'll see the rebar go in here now go back and just loosen those nuts again and what happened was i had added a flap to the trailer and epoxy paint and it just changed the weight of it quite a bit so the first time I did it, I only took it around about eh, just over a quarter of a turn. And then this final time here, as I get ready to loosen it and use the rebar, I wound up going one full turn. And so the tension uh, wound up being, the gate's still a little heavy when you first lift it, but it's almost perfectly balanced at the halfway point where it stays open. And then the gate closes very easily after that. But if you had too much tension on it, it actually makes it hard to open because of so much tension also. But here we are, final tightening, pulling it the last bit around for one full turn. And then I'll tighten the nuts again right here. You can do them with a crescent wrench or you can actually get a wrench to fit on them. I just had a crescent wrench that was easy and that's what I've always done for these but you wanna make sure they're good and tight. And what the vice grip is doing on the pipe is just holding it steady so that it doesn't move and the spools don't change the tension going out to your enclosed trailer. And you'll wanna make sure these, you know, make a little indentation in the pipe and really lock nicely to close. And that's it.